I did it. I think. Damn right you did, Zagreus. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and welcome to the House of Hades. We are back in business, I'm up, baby. I'm up. And uh, Hypnos has got something for us, right? Oh, hi. Um, you're welcome. Just go right ahead, I guess. <laughs> See you, Hypnos. That was an incredibly insightful piece of knowledge that apparently updated our codex. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Apparently, I unlocked an achievement in uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. <laughs> um, over here, we have Thanatos. We now have an opportunity to give him our final bottle of nectar. Surprise! You can't be serious. You're serious? Uh, you know what? Fine. I'll take this and we'll go about our business. Though I don't see why you bother. Why I bother? Why, how else can I show you how I feel except by handing you these bottles from time to time? Thanatos, I ought to have asked by now, but what's it like? Up there, I mean, outside. You never talk about it. I almost forget that's where you go for work. What can I say? It's different. I never stay up there for very long. Don't think I could. It starts making me feel ill. Too many sensations all at once. And when the chariot of Helios is in the sky, it gets so bright that I can barely see. That sounds awful. If it's that bad, why would all the Olympians chat it up so much? There's no accounting for their taste, I guess. <laughs> so sassy, and I cannot emphasize enough how much Thanatos sounds like a long-lost Skarsgård brother. Not gonna lie. <sighs> well, Achilles has taken his uh, union-mandated break, so he is nowhere to be found for our newfound developments with Patroclus. But our dear father has some words of wisdom for us. So help me, boy, I cannot fathom why you would have bought back the authority to enter the administrative chamber once again. I knew you thought I'd never do it under any circumstances, Father. That seemed reason enough. Though fear not, I have no plans to reapply for a position there. That does alleviate a deeply rooted fear of mine, in fact. The scene you caused in your brief time there yet remains a widely talked about event among the shades who toil for me still. <laughs> I'll be sure to say hello. I feel like he took that straight out of the Matt Damon playbook of how to say fuck you to your dad, starring Goodwill Hunting, but um, oh. it looks like we are still fairly popular today, so buckle on in, folks. I must confess something to you, my friend. My mind still wanders to Eurydice quite often, and my memories of her, despite my best attempts to move along with my existence here. I would call it a fatal flaw, except I am already dead. Don't torture yourself, mate. You've been through enough, as is she. You still care for one another, just don't have a way to get the point across. But I have an idea. I too once had ideas, Zagreus. Ideas and inspirations. It was so very wonderful to have a muse. I know. Oh, all right. You know what? That's, I that's fine. I had envisioned that you would succeed. Although, Nyx. Chaos seems to have taken somewhat of a liking to me, Nyx. They mentioned you. They mentioned me, did they? I thought, perhaps, that they had long forgotten. You should know they are my mother and my father, child. We have not spoken since the dawn of time. That's... oh. <laughs> That's, uh, sounds about on par with uh, me and my old man. Now, what are you two talking about? This can't possibly be anything good, right? And then all seven of those wretches tried cutting to the front of the procession line. Can you believe the nerve? As though they'd get an audience that way. Ha! <laughs> what a bunch of dummies! What were they even thinking, cutting the line? I mean, in front of you? Let's just say if they still have any complaints for our Lord Hades, they'll be waiting for a long, long time before they get the chance to bring them up. Ladies' night, I guess. Or day. I don't know. It's one of those. <laughs> All right, let's take a look over here. Please take these, will you, chef? Oh, what a bountiful feast. Yes. Fair okay. market value. Yeah, decent enough, I suppose. What's on the old exchange? Ooh. Okay, I don't know why anyone would ever trade 50 gemstones for 300 blood, uh, darkness, because that's kind of what I'm looking for. But I think... I'm gonna spend a little time here and get some keys. You're trying to fleece me here. Trade you these gemstones. 
more keys. I'll take that deal. <laughs> I like how they're still like chatting over there. All right. Here's the keys. Now for the fun part. All of the nectar that we could drink and give to people. Uh, do I dare? Nah, I think we're fine. And do I really want some more gemstones? I mean, man, I don't know. That seems like a pretty lopsided exchange there, so I'm good. And that ASMR is uh, pretty gnarly, man. All right, we haven't had a chance to speak or give nectar to Persephone in a hot second, and I have no idea where she is. As a matter of fact, I wonder, does she ever go into the bed chambers. I don't think she does, at least this early. I can't remember the last time I saw her in here, but I guess it's uh, this shade's opportunity to do things in regards to that, so damn. I'm really hoping by the time Keys we get to the next <laughs> the next run, um, we do something You're pertaining to our, <laughs> Just me. our darkness. I'm not even here. Okay. Sometimes some funny stuff will be here, and, and yeah, now we can give a rousing speech. Within the recesses of the administrative chamber lies the elder sigil of the master's house, a symbol of the fate given authority to rule beneath the earth and means by which to travel the entirety of all that dark domain. Could never get that blasted thing to work for me. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't be like checking this at the beginning of every run. I'm just curious because we just unlocked it last time, Back, huh? and yes, <laughs> just checking in. Now, huh? Yeah, no, man, he is saying things that are all sorts of delayed, isn't he? Okay. Oh, Meg, how's it going? I guess you guys are now not speaking to each other? That's weird. I feel like <laughs> it's not how they're supposed to be hanging out right now, but you know what? That's fine. Let's head in here. We did not get any uh, fates prophesied, and we don't have strength. anything here to help us out. So, it is now time, ladies and gentlemen, for the weapon of the day. How's it going, Skelly? Show me the mittens. Yes, and as per my recollection, the last time we approached the Twin Fists, we unlocked the hidden aspect of Let Gilgamesh. Let us don the claws of Inkaidu and maim the hell out of some assholes. Friend me the aspect of Gilgamesh. Yeah, what happened to your mitts, boy? <laughs> this has the potential to be really fun or really dumb. We have swiping abilities now, which is uh, pretty incredible. We have a rising cutter, which is nice. Oops, and when I you felt that deep down in my jaw. Oh wow, and I hit you from behind, so that's not a good sign. While dashing and attacking with your special, you can maim enemies with the horizontal slice. They will deal 50% extra damage to you for four seconds, but then do damage a little bit after, similarly to like the doom effect. But keep that in mind that this can be really scary if you're not too careful. But otherwise, <laughs> uh, swipe or no swiping on steroids. Now, this is going to sound a little counterproductive, but there is actually a really cool uh, run that we can do that involves our friend Ares and Athena. You already know it's coming, and it's something that I've been wanting to try with this thing, especially because it's only going to be level one, so it's probably not going to be very good, but let's go take our mittens and upgrade to heat gauge five. Um, if we really wanted to, <laughs> we could see a pretty hilarious fight with Theseus, um, but we would be exceeding the heat gauge and it would be kind of useless to do that. So we'll hold off on that and instead we'll just stick with some better management and hope we get some good stuff. Otherwise, don't really know what to tell you. That ought to liven things up. Ironically enough. All right, Lord Ares, give me something good. Lord Ares. You know a god called Thanatos. The two of us are very close associates, you know. Do give him my best wishes, should you see him soon. You know, it does not surprise me in the slightest that y'all would be in cahoots with each other, but this is perfect. I actually did want Curse of Agony, so we'll go ahead and take it. It's rare, and uh, we got a couple of numb skulls here that we can make quick work of by swiping them. And now we're not going to find any Olympians for the rest of the run. Congratulations, Mr. Cruz. You did the thing. 
Okay, so um, maiming is good for these like earlier stages just because you can just kind of run off and then they're usually dead in two seconds. There you go. So it's like a double doom. Because why not? Uh, heart. Okay. I guess we can take that. A little concerning that we're not getting like the greatest stuff here. But we can also just do the regular uppercut. That is, uh, you know, powerful enough in its own right. It's not a hidden aspect for nothing, so. It's what we want to put on the special that is really going to make it set apart from uh, its contemporaries. There you go. Enjoy. Okay, so we've got no chaos and a key. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, w I will take anything at this point. Oh, there we go. Speaking of chaos. Ooh. Thank you. Let's see. I'm going to main you, maybe. Ugh. It's funny when it runs out, you can hear like a cougar. <laughs> it's such a funny like sound effect. I don't know. I love it though. Unless they're dead. In which case, ouch. I'll just go and uh, do a chest bump with that lady over there. Okay, faded persuasion. I would like a palm, but we'll see if chaos has anything good for us. All right. This is about as good of an opportunity as we're gonna get. I'll never get out of here if not for their help, but I can't let them know about Mother. She wants to remain hidden from them. A difficult position to be in, son of Hades. The Olympians may not appreciate me in this land, but you can trust that I shall keep your secret. I wish to see how your predicament plays out. All right, um, this is actually not bad. I think I will take Atrophic Ambush because that is really, really nice. Um, attacking dealing 40% extra damage is also really nice, but I think the damage from behind is just gonna be universally much better than either of these two, so I'll take that. Oh no, are you serious? You're gonna make me choose between Daedalus and Athena? Okay, okay. Do not judge me, because I was gonna take the Owl Pendant into Asphodel. But we want this as soon as we can get it. All right, so we've got some witch bitches. Oh my God, they're fast too. All right, we will avoid the Mamie. Oh God. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay when it comes to uh, doing the, the swiping, so gotta be a bit careful about that. But um, Athena, how's it going? reached you, didn't he? I've always found his conduct quite disturbing. At least it seems he's helping you for now. <laughs> Man, I sure do love it when they acknowledge the one you want them to. Um, it's only common, but I will take the Divine Flourish. This <laughs> is actually turning out to be much better than I thought it would be. Oh my god. Okay, so you guys can do that. Oh my god, and an Erebus Gate. Um... That could be a good thing. Could also be, like, terrible. I don't know how I feel about it, but I suppose we'll see. Yeah, there you go. Get maimed, fools. Oh, shit. Okay, so armored enemies are actually going to be quite a bit of a disturbing facet of this, aren't they? All right. Delicious. Delicious. Shoot, this is actually kind of hard. I think I'll go for attack, though. Doom damage. Always good. So Demeter, probably not great. Um, I did not want to do Poseidon this early. I don't want anything to do with him. But this might be our first time going into one of these gates. So let's do it. Well, here goes nothing. Greetings, father. Where do you think you're going? Think you can hit me? Now, in the Erebus Gate is a little misleading because even though they give you some pretty easy enemies here, they will normally be pretty shielded, and if they touch you, you lose any semblance of a decent reward aside from a red onion. And collecting too many of those is kind of a mark of shame, but it only gives you one health 
and you basically waste your opportunity at unlocking anything worth it. So whatever you do, prioritize safety and uh, play tactically, you should be fine. <laughs> How fortunate for you. Simple. It's likely, little Hades, that you currently reside just underneath one of my boundless seas. Normally, you'd have to be submerged to use this power, but you know what? Close enough. Poseidon, I swear to God, um, I kind of hate that I'm doing this. I should go for Ocean's Bounty because if I bring him into the main mix of my boons, I won't be able to go what I'm looking for. And so by putting him on my call, I could effectively just be stumping this business. I'm so sorry. This is going to piss somebody off. But we have to go for Ocean's Bounty. Although, ooh, this uh, feels good, man, but it doesn't. And this will help because it is still early and holy mother of God, this game loves me. What in the hell is going on here? <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. <sighs> okay. Now what I want to find is Divine Dash because if I can get the duo... Oh man, it's gonna be so good. You are most generous. It's there. Let's take it. Your choice leaves much to be desired here, my kin. My temper I shall keep in check, but only barely so. He won't like this. Is that supposed to be a threat or something? Because I don't take too kindly to uh, none of that nonsense right there, especially with your slow-moving uh, doomsicles just trolling around the arena. I don't even know what's going on over there. <laughs> That's fine. We'll be okay. Thank you. You had all of my casting stones. How dare you? So greedy, man. But there we have it. Easy as that. You capably survived my wrath, and I commend you for it. Let us continue on as friends and kin. Um, absolutely. Holy smokes. Okay. Okay. Dire misfortune. This, I think, is it this or is it like impending doom? I don't remember. This, I feel like this would be really good. I don't care much for the slicing shot on this because if anything, I could find uh, probably Artemis at this point. But inflicting extra doom on foes around me. I don't want to, like, depend on that. Um, since I have a fist that I am walloping enemies on, I will take this, I suppose. Violence. Oh, my God. And why is Zeus here? I don't want anything to do with that man, that womanizing anti-feminist. Jesus. Okay. Um... I think I'll actually go ahead and save this. I can't remember what the one item from the well I need to buy is, but um, this would be good. Just <laughs> effectively stack the damage on enemies. Nemesis Crest, oof. I need to remember to buy that next time I'm uh, ready to face off against Pops, you know? Oh, shit. Okay, so this guy. Whoop, okay. Cool. Is this, is this how that's done? <laughs> Is that all I was supposed to do? <laughs> After we learned about your plight and your existence from the goddess Nyx, all of us on Olympus rallied to assist you just as best we could. A family such as mine protects its own. Oh, this is bad. I don't want any of these. Like I said, I'm still looking for a duo boon, and this could actually, like, royally screw me. I don't know that there's anything I can get here that will stop me from doing anything, except maybe lightning reflexes. Uh, I don't know, because Zeus has the ability to just throw a wrench in all of our businesses. I'll go for this one, I guess, because the, the, as much as I'd like the call, I'll take that. And I do not want to waste my fated Persuasion, but uh, let's go and speak with our old friend Sisyphus again. Been missing this man. Sisyphus peered into the mist. Here, Baldy. No. Hello, sir. Oh, but this is just too much for me, Your Highness. Thank you, really. I don't know how I can ever repay you. How about you keep on helping me not die as quickly as I might have otherwise? Deal? 
<laughs> oh, that's cute. Look here, Baldy. Prince Zed himself has come to visit us. Does Baldy really keep you company? Personally, I would resent a giant boulder that keeps tumbling back down a hill after I push it all the way up there. Oh, Baldy's not so bad. I mean, he's a good listener, a good shoulder to lean on, doesn't wield a whip. I rightly can't complain. Good having company down here. Oh, that is adorable. All right, give me the darkness. Thank you. Oh, we are so close. Just a hundred more and then we are set. One fated persuasion. Oh, thank you. Okay, so... Must be... Seemed to be a meeting of the minds if I ever saw it myself. Um, I need to, like, buff, like, my regular attack at some point, too. Jesus! Are you guys good? What is happening here? Yeah, talk about a meeting of the minds. Holy God. Over there. Bunch of numbskulls. Jesus. Okay. Keep giving me this well, man. Uh, I think I'm probably okay. I don't think it would be worth it for, you know, a 15% chance to re-up on my HP, but we don't have much of a choice here, so we're gonna go visit Kron and uh, see if he's got another Athena for us or something. You know? Alright, well, this is looking a little familiar. How's it going, man? Kron, mate. As a long-time customer, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you again for your invaluable service as a part of my repeated attempts at getting out of here. What would I have done without your wares all these many times? Besides dying a lot faster. Well, I meant every word. That's right. Charon the Boatman is the first character we can bestow upon with Ambrosia. Charon, I realize you have a very busy schedule and certainly needn't keep going out of your way for me like this, so here, just a small token of my appreciation for you. If you ever want to talk, know that I'm here. Thank you, mate. We have now forged a bond with Sharon, and we are indeed going to buy the hammer. Doing business. Ooh, interesting. Rending claws. Oh my god. Why is this? Okay, so this is not a faded persuasion, but I think this is the only time you can actually unlock rending claws. I would honestly probably not take this otherwise, because I don't know if I want to do that. It's pretty good with what I have already. So I think... Uh, oh my god, I should probably Google this, because that uh, is actually a pretty good. I don't maim enemies all that much, though, because it's kind of hard to press A and then Y. I end up using my index finger to press Y and my thumb for A. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, if they take extra damage. Let's let's just take that. What other weapon can we normally main with? I forget sometimes, but uh it's time for a fight against the sisters. Let's see who it is. Uh huh. you really must like pain an awful lot, Red Blood. Or maybe it's just me. You see, Electo? Turns out we do have a common interest after all. Did you just... Don't you ever compare yourself to me again, you trash. You want more pain? I'm happy to oblige. And once more, but with feeling. Twice in a row, and I am hoping this round goes a little better than the last. But as her rage grows and her one projectile continues to haunt me, I am probably going to find myself, ooh, stepping into traps if I'm a dumpy. And uh, hopefully I don't accidentally inflict maim on her. Because, uh, yeah, that will probably hurt for me quite a bit. But this divine dash is woof, not stopping me from stepping into the trap and getting a face full of electo foot. Which I'm sure some people would probably appreciate. Okay, okay, I think we're good. But so long and goodbye. That's that thing. 